So believe it or not, we have gotten to the very end of our, our sequences and series. So talking about ge arithmetic sequences series, talking about geometric sequences series. Now we're at infinite series. And again, the formula even for this part is given on the final exam. So all this stuff, all the formulas that are in this section, it's on the final exam. You just have to know how to use those those formulas. And it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. So here. So here, let's go ahead and move on. We're going to deal with some more definitions. And here, our first definition is infinite sequence. And if you look at it, it says it's a sequence which has infinitely many terms. And if you know infinite means the same thing as infinity. So we said infinity at the very beginning of the semester was we're going on forever and ever and ever. We don't end, don't stop. It goes on forever and ever and ever. So when it comes to infinite sequence, it's a sequence that goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's got to go on forever. So it doesn't have an ending point. Really. So keywords for this definition is sequence. So infinite sequence is a sequence in which it has infinitely many terms. So actually the words are actually in the definition. So that should be something that you should remember and hopefully catch and know. Alright, and then there's infinite series. And again with this one, you know series deal with sum or adding numbers together to get a final answer. So infinite series is the indicated sum of the term of an infinite sequence. Okay, so again, our key words are the words sum and infinite. So again, sum we know means a series, and we know infinite means the whole thing of an infinite series or sequence, one of them. So here, we know, first off, whenever you see the word sum, we're not talking about summation, because we know summation is just adding a list of numbers. But whenever we talk about sum, we're talking about a series here. So with these, these are your two definitions that are new. Right, so let's go to the actual um, formula that they give for you this. And again, this is on that formula sheet that you will have for the final exam. And here's the formula. Infinite geometric series when the common ratio is less than zero. Less than one, sorry. Common ratio is less than one. So it means it has to be smaller than one. So if that happens, if it's less than one or smaller than one, we use this formula. And again, that part is given to you on the final exam too. That's actually on the, right, on the back side of it. It gives the exact same thing, and it says where R, the absolute value of R is less than 1. It's on the formula sheet, exactly as what they give you right here. So again, you don't have to remember the formula. You just have to know when to use that formula. And then you should be good. All right, so that's our preliminary information here. And so now we're going to go into an example dealing with that. And this, these examples continue on with the same examples from geometric sequence series. So our next example is going to be example number 4.